Hello everyone. I am uh, Professor S R Patil, Department of Information Science and Engineering, B L D C T Vijayapura. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to teach you structure concept in C program. So I request all the viewer, those who have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and like the video. So move on to the structure concept. What do you mean by structure? Sometimes it is necessary for the programmers to store and process large volume of dissimilar type of data elements in a computer's memory and is possible by using user defined data type named structure. So here move on to the next slide. So this is an introduction about structure. So here the structure can be defined as a collection of data elements of dissimilar data type okay remember this array is concept where the similar data type but structure that is used for what the collection of data elements of dissimilar type of data elements stored in a computer's memory okay so this structure it is user defined data type whereas array can be defined as a collection of data elements of similar type of data elements but it is dissimilar type of data elements understood so how we can define the structure this is a brief introduction about structure Next. defining the structure how we can define the structure the structure must be defined in the declaration or global part of the c program before defining the structure variables okay so here we have the syntax for the how we can define the structure struct is a keyword okay struct and tag name i'll tell you what is this type 1 member 1 type 2 member 2 type 3 member 3 till type n member n where struct is a keyword okay what is struct struct is a keyword where tag name is valid identifier so what is a tag name it is a valid identifier so type 1 type 2 type 3 until type n it is a built-in data types like int float character double etc okay and member 1 member 2 member 3 till member n are fields or we can say that components of a structure okay so this is a syntax of structure hope you can understand the what is the syntax and what are the struct tag name type and member okay we can see one example structure to store and process book information so here book information which consists of what all are the members okay struct as i told you struct is a keyword okay so book is nothing but what book is a valid identifier or we can say that name of the structure okay so this is structure declaration so in this structure declaration what are the member it consists of book information means what book contains the book number book name book price isn't it so here book number is of type integer book name it is of type character okay we have used the array concept as well here book name is the character of the book name that should be within 25 25 is what it is a constant okay it means that the maximum number of element that can be stored in this particular array okay so third one is book price book price it is of type integer okay so what do you mean uh, this is a close of flower bracket and end with semicolon so here structure book b is there it means that i'm going to store one book information okay structure book b1 comma b2 comma b3 end with semicolon it means that i'm going to store three book information understood okay if i want to store more than three book or many book information i'm I, i'll go with the array concept structure book b of array size 100 means i can store 100 book of information in this structure understood this example okay next concept that is declaration 
of structure variables. So how we can declare the structure variable? The structure variables can be defined in the declaration or global part of the C program before the structure variables are used in the main function. Okay, so what we are going to do here, structure variables can be defined in the either declaration part or global part, both are same. Okay, of the C program before the variables are used in the main function. Okay, so the syntax for the declaration of the structure variable is struct tag name list of variables separated by comma. Okay, so where struct is a keyword. Okay, and tag name is a valid identifier. Okay, list of variables that are what? Variable, we can call it as a variable list. Okay, variable list that contains the list of variable. So this is a syntax for declaration of the structure variable. Okay, example for that is structure to store and process student information okay remember why we are going to make use of the student information within the structure means student information may consist of the rule number name mass grade of different data type okay are you getting if it is only one kind of data type then we go with the array concept because it contains the different data type that is why we are going to make use of the structure okay struct student okay student is a identifier or we can say structure name that is a this is a definition of the structure so when i talk about student information roll number has to be there okay so roll number it is of type integer then name of the student it is of type character then marks the student obtained in the examination that is of type integer then which grade he has got or she has got okay that is of type character okay so that is close the flower bracket and end with semicolon. Here we have the struct student S. So it means that to store the information of one student. Okay. Struct student S1, S2, S3 end with semicolon. Here we have to store the information about of three students. How many students? Three students. Okay. Struct student S of 50. So this is for what? To store the information of 50 students. Okay. So we are going to store how many students? 50 because the array size is 50. Understood? Okay. This is a three ways to define the structure variables. How we can define? Okay. So this is the same information we have taken that is student information. Student contains the like information like roll number, name, marks and grade. Okay. Pay attention. The only difference is this part. Okay. So here struct student S1, S2, S3 and the semicolon. This is a comment line. Here S1, S2, S3 are what? Variables. So this is one way of defining the structure variable. Okay. So these are the variables we have defined. We'll see the same information for the same example. How we can define in another form. So this is remains same. Struct student information of the student roll number name marks grade okay this everything will be same the only difference is that here instead of taking stuck student you can directly take s1 comma s2 comma s3 in this semicolon here s1 s2 s3 are what variable okay so this is what another way of defining the structure variable then what is the third type the third type that is type def struct student okay here type def that is a type definition in detail we can see this later okay so name of the identifier that is uh, student okay this is a struct is a keyword again we have the information that is student information rule number name marks and grade with respect to data type for the all this information so here stood here here stood is a alternative name for the struct student what is this to alternative name for the struct student stood s1 s2 s3 again s1 s2 s3 are what variable so there are the three way of defining the structure variable you can uh, uh, you can uh, go with the any one form okay so we should know all the three form how we can define the structure variable understood okay 
the next concept is initialization of structure variables so how we can initialize the structure variables can be assigned with values at compile time or run time okay understood this so here we are going to use a structure variable that can be assigned with values at compile time or run time so we'll see the syntax later we'll see the compile time and run time structure variable initialization the syntax which consists of struct tag me variable which contains the list of variable struct that is the name of the struct struct is a keyword and we are going to use the tag name for that and we will be having the list of variable so we'll see the example for compile time and run time so this is for at the compile time and this is at the run time so we'll see the compile time first here i have the student information that is a structure student student information like rule number name marks grade okay so here struct student i am going to pass the value s is equal to what is the first uh, member first member is rule number okay rule number 101 i have taken comma okay so what is the second member of the student name okay name i have taken john within a double quote because it is a string then third member that is marks the marks john has obtained is 600 okay the last one is grade the grade of the john that is a okay a within a single quote so close the flower bracket and end with semicolon this is how i'm going to like assign the value at a compile time okay at run time what happens the same information for the student we have the member rule number name and marks okay for this struct student s so printf enter the student roll number name and marks so here we are going to make use of what printf and scanf scanf during the run time okay so you know how printf and scanf works this is for like entering the student roll number name and marks i am going to read the roll number so s dot roll number so dot is a operator dot operator so in the next slide we'll see how it works dot operator okay yes dot rule number yes dot name so yes is nothing but a student okay so we are using the structure student right so that is why we have taken the rule number of student rule number name of the student yes marks of the student okay so i'm going to read all these values finally output for this particular runtime what we're going to get enter student rule number there is a printf statement name and marks so uh, what is the first one first one is rule number 101 name is thomas marks is 600 understood okay so this is a c program uh, to read and display student information by using the structure so it's a simple it looks complex but uh, it is a simple program you can easily understand listen this is a header file this is a main function int main which returns the value struct student okay here we are we are going to like display the information of a whom student okay student contain the member rule number name and average okay all these three struct student yes okay we have taken struct student yes clear screen so i am supposed to like uh, uh, like display the information about all the member so first i need to enter a student rule number so for that i am reading the rule number address of s dot rule number then enter student name okay i'm present s dot name okay then third one enter student average marks okay that is i'm present s dot average so i'm reading all these values finally the student details okay so student details this is for what printf scan of statement that is for reading the data so and this what is this this uh, student detail this printf statement this is for what displaying the data so listen when i uh, when i execute this particular statement that is enter student rule number i am going to read 101 from the keyboard enter student name okay i am going to read it from the like keyboard thomas okay enter student average mark 69 so which these information which i am going to read it from the keyboard right okay user is going to enter 
and this student details finally i'm going to display okay rule number name and average marks rule number is 101 i have entered name is thomas and average marks is 69 okay are you getting so this particular program which is used for read and display the student information by using the structure okay next is accessing structure members so we have seen the what are the members and type okay so how we can access the structure members the programmer makes the use of dot operator i told you okay what is the importance of the dot operator programmer make use of the dot operator to access the individual members of a structure variable okay so here this is a syntax this is a structure variable dot member name okay so this is what dot operator understood in that in the previous example s dot we have used s dot rule number yes is nothing but what structure variable okay so dot after dot rule number rule number is nothing but what member name understood okay okay this is a simple example uh, for the dot operator how we can use again we have taken the student information which contains the member role number name and marks okay so stuck student s so i have entered the information about rule number 101 name student name is john and marks john has obtained is 600 okay student role number that is yes dot rule number okay this is what this dot is nothing but a dot operator so i'm accessing the rule number of whom student are you getting okay so the second one is yes dot name okay what is this name of the student okay yes dot marks the mass of the student okay so this is how we are going to make use of the dot operator understood this concept okay so move on to the next concept that is nested structure so we have seen nested looping statement okay it is almost similar nested structure means the c language permits the programmers to nest structures within one another so in the looping statement what we used to do within one loop okay there will be again within the if again if else will be there isn't it so similarly here we have within the one structure we'll have one more structure okay the structure can contain another structure member so how this works okay struct date here date is a one structure is there okay so in the date int date month and year okay understood this okay the another structure is student okay so within this student structure i'm going to use the another structure that is date date i have already defined here as a one structure so struct date dob and student name i have defined here so this is what nesting of a structure member this is a simple topic okay so here one structure i am going to use within a another structure that is what we call it as a nested structure or a nesting structure so here i am copying the name of the john okay and date of birth that is date one month six and year 1960 okay so what are these date of birth date of birth dot is there okay so dot operator we have used for reading the information okay so this is an example for what for the nested structure okay array of structures so here array of structure array concept we have gone through okay how it is relevant to the structures concept the programmers can define arrays of structures variables to store and process the large volume of data okay so array that is a similar data but here we are making use with respect to the structure that is for what for store and process the large volume of data so here we have the syntax so the syntax is contains struct tag name array name and size okay so the size uh, is given by the programmer it depends upon his requirement okay struct is a keyword and tag name is a valid identifier and array name is the name of the array okay so this example uh, is what to store the student information 
that is rule number name average marks of the students n students okay so struck student okay what are the members roll number name and marks in the name i use the array concept here okay so name of array size 25 struck student yes of 25 what do you mean by this 25 25 means how many student data i can have i can have the 25 student data okay that is array size is what 25 understood okay clear array in structure so array in structure the programmers can use array as a members of structure to store and process the large volume of data so the example for array in structure we have the again student information so we have the member of the student that is name usn subject and i okay so these are what member of the student so here this is a program with respect to arrays and structure this is program c program to read and display student name usn and five subject ia marks using the structure concept so this is simple program so uh, before the wide main now uh, i am supposed to have the header file okay has include stdio.h okay so struct student yes okay uh, this is a variable which i'm going to use that is why i have declared here enter student name okay i'm using the scanf statement for reading the name okay this is a dot operator okay enter student usn i'm going to read the usn of the student so enter five subject imrs okay because i'm going i need to enter the five subject imrs i am going to use the for loop okay i is equal to zero i less than five i plus plus okay so it is going to read the s ampersand s dot i a of i it means that it is going to read the five subject i a marks so finally i am going to display the student details that is what name usn i a marks so i am supposed to read all the five i a marks that is why i am going to use for loop once again okay so this particular program which display the information of which reads and display the student name usn and five subject ia marks using the structure concept okay the next concept that is structures and functions so how structure and functions are related to each other okay the programmers can pass the structure variables or structure members to user defined functions to do a specific task okay the contents of structure variable can be passed as parameter to user defined function in the following three ways so there are three ways are there so how you, how we can make use of this like structure and functions a concept in this particular all the three ways of passing the parameter so this is the first one way one to pass a parameter so here the individual members of a structure can be passed as a parameter to a function to do a specific task okay so here we have the example the example is what result s dot average so here result is a user defined function that receives s dot average okay s dot average as parameter to display the student result as per average mark score understood this okay this is a way one to pass the parameter so what is the second way to pass the parameter so that is to the whole structure variables can be passed as an argument or parameter to user defined function to do a specific task understood so this is the example we have display s so here in the display s s is a structure variable what is s here s is nothing but a structure variable that containing the student information that will be passed to a display student information okay so this is the second way of passing the parameter then third way to pass a parameter that is the address of structure variable can be passed as an argument or parameter to user defined function to do a specific 
task. Okay. The example for that is display ampersand s. So here address of structure variable s. What is this address of s? Right. Address of structure variable s is passed to a user defined function to do a specific task. So these are the three ways to pass a parameter. Okay. So this is a simple program about a structure and functions. So we have the header file here, and remember we have three functions here: read, display, and result. Okay. So read it doesn't take any argument. Display will have the argument, and result also will have the argument. Okay. So here, student name of the structure is student. The member of the student are rule number, name, and hours. Okay. So come to the main program, the main function. The program execution always start from the main. Struct student temp. Temp is a temporary variable we have used. Okay. So here temp is equal to read. So here I am calling the read function. Okay. I am calling the display function and I am calling the result function. Okay. So here within the wide main I am going to call these three functions. So how these three function works? Just look at here. Read is a one function, right? Struct student read. So what I'm going to do with the read function? I'm going to read the enter student rule number, name, and the average marks. So I'm going to read all the information about about the student. Okay. Finally, I'm returning the value. Then next, another function that is display. Okay. So here I have read using this read function. Here I'm going to display the information whatever I have read here. Okay, so I'm going to display rule number, name, average marks. Okay, so just check it the out, check out the output. Enter student rule number, name, and average marks. So I have entered one at one, Thomas and seventy. So I'm going to display the rule number as one at one, name as Thomas, and average marks as seventy. Understood this? Okay. So finally, the one more uh, function that is result. Okay, it's very simple. If x greater than 35, then it is pass. Okay. Else, if this condition fails, then it is fail. So, what is the average mark student has got here? 70. 70 means it is greater than like 35. Then result will be pass. Suppose the student has got less than 35, then the result will be fail. Understood this? Okay. Next is type def statement. So, type def means as I told you. The type def stands for type definition. Okay, what type def stands for? It is a type definition. It is one of the built-in statement available in the C program. So, it is one of the built-in statement, built-in function. It helps the programmer to give alternative name, so that is possibly short or meaningful names, to the basic data type that is int, float, char. Or user-defined data type like structure. So we have the syntax for that: type def, data type, and alternative new name. Okay. So this is a simple example for the type def. Type def struct student stud. Okay. Student s. Yes, that is yes is a variable of type struct student. Okay. What is this yes? Yes is a variable of type struct student. Type def struct student. Here we have the members. So what are the members of the student? Roll number, name, average. Okay, these are the three members of the student. So these are the variable which I am going to declare as a structure variable. Stud S one, S two, and S three. Okay. So the important question uh, in these topics are: you can expect what is structure? Explain its declaration and initialization with syntax and example. Okay. Next second question is. Write differences between arrays and structures. Third question: What is nested structure? Give programming example. We have gone through this also. Discuss array of structure with programming example. Discuss structure and functions with example. Structure and functions. We have seen three ways of passing the parameter. You are supposed to explain that. What is type def statement? That is type definition statement. We have seen the example as well. Okay, so write a C program to read and display n student information. That is student information like rule number, name, mark, grade using the array of structure. Okay, so we have gone through this program as well. So these are the important questions. 
so i would like to conclude this lecture by this quote read more books than you did last month so thank you so much everyone and a kind request to all of you that please subscribe the channel if you haven't done that and like the video thank you